Hi, my name is Josh Dodis, and I'm proud to announce that I'm making my first solo record in 15 years. I was surprised too. I'm excited to be partnering with Pledge Music on it, which actually allows me to partner on it with you. But first, who the hell am I? Where have I been since what feels like the Carter administration? Some of you know me from the old days in New York City. When life was simpler, I could sort of get away with this look. And I was young and strong enough to damage the piano at the sidewalk cafe so badly I was banned from ever coming back. Back then, my band sold out clubs like The Bitter End, sold out several pressings of our records Get Up and Freak, and then sold out altogether by appearing on VH1's reality show Bands on the Run. Oi, those are indeed JDB panties on my head. We got to tour all over the country and open for folks like Avril Lavigne, Pat Benatar, Maceo Parker, and the B-52s. Then, like all reality stars, I built an entourage that was way too big, descended into a bitter public feud with Nick Lachey, and one day woke up in Mexico with a tattoo that just said, Te amo, papi. I literally had no idea how it got there. Some of you know me from the next phase of my musical life, when I toured and performed as a sideman for amazing artists like Mark Cohn, Josh Radin, Toby Lightman, Julian Villard, and many, many others. Lachey mostly left me alone during these years, though I'm told his album, What's Left of Me, is mostly about how I made him feel. He's very sensitive. Okay, so the new record. It's well underway, and I think it may actually end up being the best thing I've ever done. It's got kind of a retro soul feel with uh, a lot of piano and vintage keys and a full horn section uh, and some of the best songs that I've ever written. You're listening to a track that I'm working on right now. To make it great, I want to hire a bunch of additional players as well as a Grammy-winning producer I'm friends with to tie it all up. I'm not looking to make money for myself at this point. I'm just looking to make the best record I can. And it's possible I may also try to replace this <laughs> keyboard. Everything you guys pledge will go to paying someone else I need to make it great. And the more you guys pledge, the more I can do. Also, after I hit my target, 10% of everything above that will go directly to the ACLU. If you do decide to pledge or pre-order the album, I'll be keeping you posted with updates all along the way, and there are all sorts of exclusive extras and bundles right down below that come with different pledge amounts. Custom songs, private Skype concerts, unreleased live tracks, and a lot more. Quick note, the cast iron Dotus bald head paperweights, totally sold out. Couldn't keep on the shelves. Everything else though, still available. Hurry up, snap them up. Everything must go. Oh, and finally, about the name. When I was a kid, I decided that Otis Darling would be my stage name when I grew up. Everybody thought it sounded a little bit ridiculous, but I thought it was kind of cool and funny, and you know what, screw you guys, it's my record. I'll call it whatever I want. Okay, that's it. Thanks in advance for partnering with me on this, and I hope that working together we can come up with a record that you guys will be proud to be a part of. And failing that, the Pledge Music will allow you to take all of your money, go to Mexico, and have the tattoo removed. You're listening to a track that I'm working on right now. Why didn't you point to it? To where? It's music. <laughs>